Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Out of everything we just read, what's the theme of the Bible? Like, what is it? What is it encouraging us to do? I'm looking for one word. Genius. What's right? What's right? What does that mean? Because what's right to a crackhead is to what? Smoke crack. What's right to a weed head is to smoke weed. What's right to sisters who dress in modesty is to continue to dress that way, right? So, what is the Bible encouraging us to do? Romans 12 and 1. Huh? Live righteously, but in order to do that, because are you are we living righteously right now? The brothers on the corner smoking weed. Y'all know today is the Lord's Sabbath day, right? There's supposed to be no buying, no selling, no cooking on the Lord's Sabbath day. We're not doing that, so in our mind, guess what? That's right. But we're going to see y'all today. The Bible is encouraging us to change. We up. must change because black people always holler about, we holler about why the, why the white man shoot us down in the street. Why is this happening to us? Because we're not changing. If you want change, you have to be the change. You got to be the change that you want to see. Right. Change does not come just by sin to continue to do what you've been doing Break it over out. and over again. Right. In, in Esau's term, that's called insanity. But we're going to show y'all, this is what the Bible is encouraging. Read that, Romans 12 and 1. Romans chapter 12 and verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. So we got to present our bodies a living sacrifice. Because in the Old Testament, we had to sacrifice animals to get forgiveness for our sin. Right now, God said, present your bodies a living sacrifice. Change. Read. Holy, acceptable unto God. Read. Which is your reasonable service. That's our reasonable service. That's the whole reason why we're here today. Right. The reason why the, the 12 tribe, the reason why these people went into slavery, because we broke God's commandments. The commandments were given to us to keep in the beginning. It was never given to us for us to break them. But you know what happened? Slavery happened. Us, keep us breaking, and slavery didn't happen to us because uh, God just wanted to put us in slavery. It didn't happen to us because the white man was stronger than us, or he was faster than us, or he, or he was smarter than us. It happened to us because we broke God's commandments. That's right. So everything that you see going on today is a result of us Bringing God's commandments. So if we want, to, if we want to see change, we have to change. Read and be not conformed to this world. And be what? And be not conformed to this world. God is saying, be not conformed to this world. You know why? Because in the world, we was brought up what? Celebrating our birthdays. We was, uh, we seen a lot of our parents smoke weed. We seen our mama bring dudes in and out the house. We seen our dad do the same thing. So the Bible's telling us, be not conformed to this world. Read. But be ye transformed. But be tra be ye transformed. What does it mean to be transformed? To change. God wants us to change. Read. By the renewing of your mind. And change starts right here first. You, if you don't change this, nothing else will change. Right. So we have to change our mind. You're not black. You're not African American. You're not Jamaican. You're an Israelite. And being an Israelite means you gotta. You have to. That's a high esteem. You know Israel. You know what is the word Israel mean? Get that in um, Genesis 2, Genesis 32. We come right back to that. God surnamed us Israel. What's your last name? Larry. Larry. What's your last name? Who, who, where do we get those names from? We got it from slavery. By the land, we got, a, we got our last name from the man that had us in slavery. Right. So we put off the name that God gave us, which is Israel, which means, read. Genesis chapter 32 and verse 28. Bring it up. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob. So our forefather, Jacob. He said, your name is not called Jacob. Read. But Israel. But Israel. What does Israel mean? For as a prince has thou power with God. He said as a prince, as daughters of God, as sons of God, we have power with God. And our power is in the commandments. That's where our power comes from. Because God say, if we keep the commandments, we're going to give me that. Um, 
I think it's Romans 6.23. Romans 6.23. Read that real quick. If we break the commandments, we get put to death. If we keep the commandments, he said we're going to live forever. Read. Right, right. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. All right. For the wages of sin is death. So your payment for breaking God's commandments is death. How, do, how, does, how does death come upon us when we smoke weed or when we smoke cigarettes? What does God give us? He give us lung cancer. He give us COPD. What happens when you sleep with multiple women, multiple men? You get STDs. What happens when you eat pork, shrimp, crab, or lobster? High blood pressure. Those are the punishments for breaking God's commandments. But if we keep the commandments, what do you say will happen? But the gift of God is eternal life. The gift of God is eternal life, meaning we live forever. Do y'all want to live forever? Do y'all want to continue to go through this oppression that we've been going through for 400 plus years? And guess what? This is not our first time going into slavery. We've been going into slavery since all the way in Egypt. You know why? Because we broke God's commandments. So it's time for us to change. That's the message. We have to change. Go back to what I got you read. Read that. Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. Read. And be not conformed to this world. So we can no longer be conformed to this world. Read. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. But we have to be transformed by renewing our mind first. Read. That ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Now give me the will of God. Let's find out what the will of God is and then give me Exodus 20 and 8 because I said today was the Sabbath day. Right. You see a lot of our brothers and sisters on the Sabbath day. They buying, they selling, they cooking. God gave us commandments to keep on the Sabbath day. And guess what? If we choose not to keep the commandments, what's the payment? Death. Yeah. We always complain about we ain't got no money, but God gave us a day that we supposed to keep our money in house. You know what I'm saying? God teaches us how to manage our money. The Bible is a book of 2 Timothy 3.16. Give me that real quick. The Bible covers all aspects of life. Whether it be monetary, you know what I'm saying? He tell us to build houses, you know what I'm saying? He tell us how to keep our money within each other. He tell us uh, how we should raise our kids. He tell us how, how a man should deal with his wife, how a wife should deal with her husband. All those things that we have to learn over again because it got destroyed through it. It got destroyed when we was in slavery. Read that. Second Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16. Let's see what the Bible is for. Read. All scripture. All scripture meaning from not just the New Testament because you have some Christians, they don't like to go to the Old Testament. You know what I'm saying? They like to stay in one part of the Bible. But God say all scripture, meaning from Genesis to Revelation, all the scriptures read. It's given by inspiration of God. And it was not created by a man. So that doctrine of people will tell you the Bible was written by a white man. The white man cannot tell us that we was going to go into slavery and it happened the way it did. That's, right. That's not possible. No man can do that. You know what I'm saying? God told us that we were going to go into slavery breaking his commandments, and it happened. Right. He told us who was going to be over us in slavery. That's right. He told us our kids was going to be taken away. No man can do that in his mind. Only the power of God can do that. Read. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. Read. And it's profitable for doctrine. It's profitable for doctrine. Read. For reproof. For correction. The Bible is for correction. The Bible is meant to change us. Read. For correction. Read. For instruction in righteousness. For instruction in righteousness. And that covers a multitude of things. So give me Exodus 28. So we're going to learn about the Sabbath day today, right? That's the first thing we're going to touch on. Read that. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Before you read that, what day did America ordain for us to keep holy? Sunday. What day is Sunday on the calendar? Is it the first day of the week? It's the first day of the week, right? When you look on the calendar, S is first. S, M, T, so forth and so on. So Sunday is the first day of the week. Read that. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Right. Remember the Sabbath day. So God told us to remember the Sabbath day. Now, Moses wrote this book, right? Moses spoke about us going into slavery before we even went into slavery. So when he said remember, at this time we knew how to keep the Sabbath day holy. You know what I'm saying? We knew we was Israel. We weren't calling ourselves African American. So why is he saying remember right here? Because he knew that we was going to break God's commandments. Like today, our job is to go out and, and to remind the people who they are. To remind the people that they have to keep God's commandments. Because if you don't, you die. If you don't, you continue to see the things that go on. They're going to continue to go on. So God say, remember the Sabbath day. Read. To keep it holy. To keep it holy. We're going to find out how to keep it holy. Read. Six days shall thy labor and do all thy work. So you got six days to go to work. You know what I'm saying? All that. You got six days to labor and do everything that you need to do. But read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. But the seventh day of the week, which is Saturday, that belongs to the Lord. That's read. In it thou shalt not do any work. So in that day, there's to be no work done. No servile work. You see what I'm saying? So we should not be, no, the store should be closed down. And guess what? There will come upon a time where everything upon the face of the earth will be shut down. Because right. think about the Lord's prayer. He said, 
uh, thy will be done, thy kingdom come in earth as it is in heaven. So the kingdom is going to be right here on earth. The Sabbath day is going to be kept right here on earth again, like it was back then. Read. Thou shalt not do any work. All right. Thou, nor thy son, All right. nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. Because during this time, we had slaves. We had people to work for us. We had people to clean our house for us. You know what I'm saying? We had, the, guess what? The other nations, everybody outside of this right here, the same people that put us in slavery at one point of time, what, even to this day, they are still our slaves. Right, right. But the slaves are, now the slaves are ruling the people that are supposed to be ruling. You know what I'm saying? You know why? Because we broke God's command. Yeah, that's right. Um, right. Now give me uh, Exodus 16, 23. So on the Sabbath day, there's to be no work done. Let's find out what else we shouldn't be doing on the Sabbath day. Read. Exodus chapter 16, verse 23. Read. And he said to them, this is that which the Lord has said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath unto the Lord. So yesterday before the sun went down, he said, Today is the rest of the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Read. Bake that which you will bake today. Read. And see that you will see. All and right. that which remaineth over, lay up for you to be kept until the morning. So everything that you had to cook, it was supposed to be done yesterday before the sun went down. Today, whatever you cook yesterday, you can eat it. The food don't have to be heated up for you to eat. You can, you can fry some chicken. Eat it cold. We do it all the time. You know what I'm saying? Make you a sandwich. Eat you some cereal. But we're not supposed to be cooking on the Lord's Sabbath day. So no working. No cooking. What else should we be doing? Uh, give me that Nehemiah. So we just going. This is how you change. These are the things that we have to start applying. Because the Bible, just like we read to this, y'all have to apply this. We got to do the same thing. Right. We had to learn the same thing over and over again. We was, we was, when y'all standing there, we was there at one, at one point in time. But through application of God's scriptures, that's how we learn to change our life. And we're telling you, if you see it in us, y'all can do the same. We, we got sisters that that was in the world doing all manner of wickedness. They were smoking weed. They was prostituting themselves. But they changed. But you're not going to be able to change if, you, you know, if you're surrounded by people who don't want to change. You see what I'm saying? Like in Genesis, he told Abraham a lot to move, go to a whole other city where well, they didn't know nobody. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes you got to remove yourself from the equation. You have to get out the hood. You know what I'm saying? Until, you, until you're able, until you strong enough in your mind to encourage people around you to change. Right. But right now, you have to be taught. We all had to be taught. Read that. Nehemiah chapter 10 verse 31. So this is what else we should be doing on the Sabbath day. No working. No cooking. Read. And if the people of the land bring wear or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, that we will not buy it of them on the Sabbath Read. or on the holy day, and that we will leave the seventh year and the exaction of every debt. So people, because and what we had it, we had our land set up to where you had to come through a gate to, in, in, to enter into our land. Other nations would oftentimes come in to sell us stuff. You know what I'm saying? So you, it's lawful for us to buy from the nations. They have stores set up. We can do that. But on the Sabbath day, he said no buying. No, the gates were shut. Right. Nobody was able to do no kind of monetary selling. No, none of that was able to be done. Why? Because that's the. This is the day that God ordained for us to keep holy. Right. Not Sunday. You know what I'm saying? But Saturday. So no buying today, no cooking today, and no uh, working today. When the sun go down, you're free to do whatever you want to do. You know what I'm saying? As long as it's within the confines of the law. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how we're men repented at heart the scriptures is proof, I-U-I-C, we deliver the truth.